Bhutan is a peaceful landlocked country sandwiched between two giant countries, India to the south and China to the north. Steeped in tradition and culture, it is known for its peaceful environment with lush green valleys and happy people. The last Shangri-La, the land of happiness. This is what people generally picture when they think about a Bhutanese classroom. Let us show you what it actually looks like now in this digital age. We have embraced a dynamic digital paradigm where innovation and technology bring new life into our classroom experience. Our classrooms now are interactive with teachers and students engaging through technological tools like the interactive whiteboard. Students now use laptops, tablets and smartphones with high-speed internet connection. Students also use AR apps. Discover the future with augmented reality. With Hop AR app, you can witness the inspiring launch of a rocket right from your device. See the countdown, feel the excitement, and blast off into a new era of innovation. Augmented reality, bringing the extraordinary to life. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Position, lift off. We also use 3D glasses for learning purpose. 3D glasses are eyewear designed to create the illusion of three-dimensional images or video. It enhances the educational experience by providing more immersive and engaging way to interact with educational content. Sometimes, VR headsets are also used. With Metaverse, Bhutanese students can immerse themselves in a virtual world, exploring the history of Bhutan in a dynamic and engaging manner, while sitting in the comfort for their own classrooms. Even ChatGPT, an AI tool, is used by students following a strict set of rules and regulations to ensure responsible usage. As for teachers, tools like plagiarism detection software and comparative analysis are used by many teachers to identify any anomalies that might suggest AI-generated content. Let's sit outside and see what digital Bhutan looks like. Welcome to the world of Fab Lab, where creativity and technology converge to bring ideas to life. A fabrication laboratory is a place where ideas turn into reality. Here at the Jimmy Number One Two Super Fab Lab Temple, innovation knows no boundaries. It is a place where Bhutanese creativity and technology converge. Would you believe it? JNW Super Fab Lab is among the fourth Super Fab Lab in the world. We are a very small nation, but look at that. Our achievements are not so small, are they? At Super Fab Lab, Bhutan's ancient textile wisdom merges with cutting edge technology. In our globalized era, preserving these traditions is crucial. Fab Lab technology ensures the survival of Bhutanese textiles cultural heritage inspiring a vibrant future. We are not leaving our tradition behind. We are taking it into our future by integrating it with innovation. Here you'll find an array of high-tech machines each serving a unique purpose. From 3D printing to laser cutting, CNC machines to electronics, SMD, the possibilities are endless. The innovation boundless. In the world of Fab Lab, innovation knows no bounds. It's a place where dreams are built, ideas are realized, and the future is shaped. Even as we speak, we are making a new digital Bhutan. And again, how does Bhutan's digital revolution affect ordinary citizens? Let's ask someone who knows. I hope that you know a lot about cryptocurrency, so how is it so to begin, cryptocurrency, or as you may already know, digital currency, it runs through a system called blockchain technology. And to simplify blockchain technology, it 
let's say there is a puzzle and in that puzzle every piece is cryptocurrency in this puzzle every transaction you made will be recorded and there is no amount of limits or any third party which will monitor your transaction or your account so to answer your question how is it different for any sorts of payment not just mbop there is no third party risk there is no government especially the government monitoring you and that is how your freedom your you have freedom with cryptocurrency thank you for answering my question how did you get introduced to cryptocurrency i was introduced to cryptocurrency during the year 2022 when non fungible token or as you call it nfts were in a big hype everyone was mining them everyone was minting them and then i thought maybe this was an an opportunity for me to join into the crypto world and that is how i discovered the discord where many people similar with my interest were there and working with other people who had the same interest running and mining crypto nfts and through that i interviewed for a job position and surprisingly i did get one and the main payment i got was from crypto specifically solana or ethereum and that is how i was introduced to cryptocurrency how old are you i'm 15 years old as you can see young people someone as young as 15 year old thing is eagerly embracing cryptocurrency for daily transaction let's just hope we can keep up with this new blockchain technology we are still true to our core values of g We are true to preserving our values and our values. We are just doing it digitally. So are you ready to join us in digital time?